What's good? We back with the boxing clinic. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know we do more than boxing. I'll let the name fool you. It's the boxing clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. You know, I came in. I was just sitting down watching the Mavericks. You know, Lakers. Lakers, one of my favorite teams. Um, we're out there with the Detroit Pistons, of course. Um, and, you know, I just want to see how Lonzo's looking. Lonzo looking good. I was reading the bottom line, and I linked this article from ESPN in there that um, Sean Miller got caught on wiretap, the head coach of Arizona, you know, Saying that he's paying a hundred, they paying a hundred k for DeAndre Ayton to come to Arizona. Now DeAndre Ayton could, could potentially be the number one pick in next year's draft. Um, you know, a lot of scouts say he his ceiling is the highest out of everybody in the draft. Even the Luka Doncic kid from overseas, they trying to put it number one. You know, who don't look all that good to me. Uh, even over Trey Young, Marvin Bagley, Colin Sexton, who's been named in the uh, probe, um, and. You know what happened? What what happened was they started FBI started investigating Louisville, and they was having like crazy hookers and prostitutes and all types of stuff. You know, servicing recruits and players, and you know a lot of dumb stuff. And Rick Pitino claimed he didn't know it was on his watch. They end up getting uh, their 2013 title uh, over Michigan uh, NCAA March Madness title taken away, is vacated, and um and now. And now, uh, I think Rick Pitino started singing. You know, I really did. You know, they said they uh, they went back and talked to, according to the reports, they went back to talk to uh, former NBA agent Andy Miller. I don't know what ended up happening to his 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 agent firm or his whatever he had going on. And it sounds like you know he got sour grapes. He's telling on everybody he gave money to. This really sounds like some Nino Brown stuff. This is bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it sounds like everybody telling on each other. And that's not even a code that's, you know, that's that's a code that you expect when you're talking about white-collar guy making a certain amount of money, white-collar guys. You know, those real business guys, they snitch on themselves, ain't no code, because they all white-collar crime, white-collar uh, people, they business people, and rarely do you get gangsters in, in college basketball. Now, you tell me, you know, it's Coca-Cola, because that, that was built off of, they used to put Coke and Coca-Cola, so, most businesses built off of drugs or illegal money. So, you tell me some of the old players with, you know, old, you know, older companies or something like that, you know, is, is involved in, I'd be worried with some old gang ties. I don't think a lot of these white collar coaches got a lot of gang ties. So it ain't no threat not to snitch on you. I'm going down. I'm bringing you down with me. And that's, and that's the case. And then the FBI, you know, they did, they probe, they dug deeper and now they have over like 300 phone calls that they going through. And it's, it's going to become an NCAA investigation. Um, you know, I remember the Arizona, I mean, the St. Louis Cardinals were getting in trouble for stealing signs or something. And that kind of just went away. And it, it just washed away. And it was it was going to be a bad look for Major League Baseball. And they let that go away. Um, this, it seems like they want to crush the NCAA. And a lot of people want the NCAA crushed because of the amount of money they're making off these kids. And it's pretty much like Max Kellerman said on first take. And I really didn't even watch that today. But I watched it today. It was a good segment. And I, and I like Max Kellerman. I said that a lot of times talking boxing and other sports. I thought... He was a good fit to replace Skip Bayless. You know, like he said, this is not like shocking. Like, oh my God, I can't believe it's happening. It's not that. We all know these players getting paid to go to certain college university. Now the tarp is taken off the took off the old nineteen seventy two Stingray Vet or whatever you want to say. It's here now. You know, now that everybody see it, you know, we knew it was true, but now you really get to see it, you know, and it's really becoming the light. And the FBI, you know, they don't have no chill. And, you know, Sean Miller, you know, selling that, you know, Deontay Aiden, not probably not going to be tournament eligible. He might as well start training for the draft right now, signing with an agent against some trill money right quick. Um, I heard Kyle Kuzma say in the locker room that this is really a distraction. I mean, if I'm a player in, 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 in the NBA, I don't care. You know, because coaches get, you know, they move on and leave me at a program all the time, and I'm stuck here unless I can get a release, and then I got to sit out, do, do, you know, a certain amount of time because of the transfer rule. You know, if I'm an NBA player, I don't care. You know, forget Andy Miller. You know, forget the FBI. I mean, I, I'm moved on. You know, I ain't, I ain't did nothing illegal. You know, I, they gave me some money. I play. Okay, if they, they that, that school gets suspended, I don't care. Because if I got suspended, I got injured, that school would have moved on for me and took my, took my scholarship or whatever it may be. You know, if I'm the players, I don't have no no hard feelings. You know, you got Bam from Kentucky that been named. Colin Sexton. Um, Sexton from Alabama. You got uh, Miles Bridges from Michigan State who really could have avoided this, you know, in NCAA because he could have went to the league last year, but he passed up and came came back to Michigan State. 
Um, and it's going to be a lot more people, you know, and this is a deep story. And I'm going to continue to cover this. And I can't wait till they pop Mike, Ches- uh, Mike Krzyzewski, you know, Coach K. I, don't got, I mean, I do have something to get. So, I mean, he was one of those people bashing John Calipari, who's also named in this as well, and who have eluded a lot of charges. And, you know, a lot of people, they try to dig dirt up on him. They couldn't find it. Um, he, he declined to, to speak on it. But, um, you know, most people believe where smoke is fire and believe that Calipari's been paying for players for years. But Coach K used to talk crap about my, uh, about uh, John Calipari, you dig? You know, he used to say, oh, you know, one and done's is bad. And, you know, and then he started doing the one and done thing. You know what I'm saying? He's a real hypocrite. I don't have no respect for a hypocrite like that. He used to blast John Calipari in the way he was recruiting and got and was jealous and started doing and pulling the him on him. He started putting the John on John. And that's 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 some weak stuff. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I can't wait because he's doing the same. He's doing it. He paying for players to come to Duke and all that. And I know people say, well, Duke recruits himself. Marcia Skisky wouldn't do that. Man, I don't believe nothing. He's not below being the scum of the earth. You know, you know, you don't know what he had to do to get to that position. And, and he getting all these top f- recruits now. He wasn't just getting like five, seven years ago. You know, this dude is getting one and done and, and getting a lot of them. So, you now when they pop him, I'll be satisfied. And I might stop covering this story. But now they're taking the, the, the old the old tarp off the old vet. You know, um, now it, they need to refine these, these NCAA rules. You know, this is a perfect time for LeVar to slide, slide down like he's sliding them DMs and come with that, that league he got. You know, we got 10 Gs, depending on your time level. We pay up to 10 Gs. You ain't got to worry about college. You ain't got to worry about violating your amateur rule. And he also could put pressure on the NCAA to pay these players, man. Come on, pay them. You know, forget that amateurism rule. You know, people need money when they're at college. People, you know, families are less fortunate and can't really fund a player like that right now. A lot of these guys be starving and stuff, and that's real stories. I done been there before. I done seen some, you know, some athletes go out there and, and strap up and rob people just to uh, eat for the night. And go hit licks and stuff of that nature. I'm not going to speak on it, but it happens. It's happening. People can't understand it. You know, it happens. You know, cafeteria shut down at 9 o'clock. You from a major city. You in the college town. You used to eating at 10, 11, 12 or getting some snacks and everything shut down. But Walmart, and you ain't got no bread. So it's the survival. See, it's me or you. And you're going to get it how you live. And when you when you got that mentality, a lot of people ain't never had that mentality or never came from the slums and, and don't understand what it is to come up and be down and come up or have to do what you got to do. And when it's, when, it's, when it's me or you and the survival... You don't get people doing that. So uh, let's keep it moving with this NCAA.